Today, studentcooking.tv are at Southampton Solent University, and we're challenging four friends to a fair trade cook-off to see who can cook the most interesting crepe using nothing but fair trade ingredients. But before we do anything, let's meet the teams. First up, Stevie the Juggernaut Campbell. The smooth Ricky Davison. Joey the whirlwind Carolombus. And finally, Kieran Fairtrade Hughes. And judging this whole affair, we have studentcooking.tv's Rob and Southampton Solent's Natalie McIntyre. And up for grabs today, an entire box of Fairtrade Divine Chocolate. Yum yum. Look at that mate, you did not think of that. Splitting it in half. Yeah. I don't have a clue. Uh. I might go for a flip. Skills. Good fair trade uh, flavours in there. Chocolate orange and some bananas in there as well. I'm going to melt this chocolate, try and get it so it's swirly. I'm starting by putting this pan of oil on fire. <laughs> I'm going to win the judges' heart. It's all going exactly how I wanted it to at the start. I'm going to call it Baylor Crepe. <laughs> That's something you'd see on like Gordon Ramsay. Perfect, Winning this kickoff would probably be the, the single greatest thing in my life. Right, so in terms of presentation, I think that one's looking very classic. Yeah. Like the little number one on the front there. Chocolate tower, very interesting. And then we've got with a fair trade logo here, which is important because obviously that's what today's all about. Not much great. Not much great, <laughs> indeed. Probably lose points there. And then this at the end here. What are your thoughts on that? Artistic, uh, abstract. It's now nice gone for the milk chocolate option. Uh, it's definitely says much crepey. Crep, have all the crepes we've got here. I'm going to go for the passion love yeah. because I think a lot of passion and love has definitely <laughs> gone into the production of this one. That is the passion, passion love. love. It's the passion love it coming out of that love. one. Right, so fantastic effort today. Uh, really, 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 very good. Um, obviously, what you lack in cooking skills, you're able to make up with presentation. However, lads, unfortunately, there can only be one winner, um, and the winner of the box of fair trade chocolate is Fair Trade Tower. How do you feel? Amazing. How about you, Ricky? I feel like crap. Thanks for watching.